An emotional story is not enough for us. We need to find a builder in the community who responds to that story and who is willing to put their business on hold for not just the seven days that it takes for our build, but for the four weeks that it takes to prep this build. They need to call in all their favors from their subs. They need to shell out some of their own money. They need to put their family life on hold uh, for a little while, and, and they need to do all that just to help out a family in their community. When we look for a builder, we have to check their background. We have to make sure the county believes in them. We have to make sure they have a good record. We have to make sure they're building homes. They're not getting sued. You know, they're outstanding citizens. And that once they say yes, they're gonna be there for you. Friends, we're faced today with an enormous challenge. And when we succeed, everyone across this nation will see the heart that's in each and every one of you. Once we said go, these guys went. Your record was 94 hours yeah. at 3,300 square feet. We're going to beat that. We're going to do it in 90 hours. I would not have believed what I saw unless, of course, I saw it in person. This may look like day four, but this is day three. Less than 24 hours ago, this wasn't even here. I'm talking about a framed house on a foundation with windows in it, with a front door in it, with a roof on it. We've already done the concrete pour, the flooring, the framing, the plumbing. The electrical, we're on drywall. And honestly, that's not bad for 24 hours. As of right now, we're 12 hours ahead of schedule. Yeah! What Rick pulled off in having that house to that stage, day three, incredible. My people are pumped up, everyone's pumped up, and we're just having fun yeah! doing this. Impressed, seriously impressed. It is incredible, I mean, you blink, and you've missed something. OK, here's the thing. Every time I turn around, something else is done. So let's see just how fast these drywallers really are. On your mark, get set, go! That's it! It's a record! 10 minutes and 22 seconds, people! These guys set out to break all records. Not only did they want to build an awesome house, but they wanted to shatter the record of the build time. These guys are on fire. Yeah! Oh, oh. Jeez! We asked people to build these homes in 106 hours. They built it in 53. I can't really wrap my head around that. What happened was we knocked down the house, and then we go away, and usually the builder, you know, gets the dirt prepared for 12 hours or what have you. We came back in 12 hours, and the house was not only framed, it was sited. It had the roof on. We were all absolutely stunned. The drywall was done on day two. They were priming at four o'clock on day two. It's day three and we can basically move the furniture in if we wanted to. That has never happened before. It is the first time that the builder is waiting for us to catch up to them. We're usually like, go faster, go faster. The house in back of me usually isn't finished for two more days and they're done. I mean, hello. Something magical started on Wednesday. It was the amount of enthusiasm and passion and teamwork I've never experienced before. Good luck, guys. My concern was that the viewers at home who see a house go up in 53 hours would say, well, great, but what kind of quality is it? And then Rick said he'll guarantee it for 10 years. And I had home inspectors go through who said, it's rock solid. I've built 38 of these homes, and this is the best quality I've seen on the show uh, to date. 53 hours and 54 minutes. If you break that down, that's basically building one square foot every 51 seconds. It was you guys as a team making me look good. Thank you very much, guys. Family, go check out your new Oh, thank you. Why anyone would give up a week of their lives, go through the struggles that it takes to, to do this project, to deal with television production, you can't do it if you don't believe in it. Our builder here believes not only in helping a family, but in helping people, and in bringing communities together, and in building beautiful, quality homes, and creating neighborhoods. You know, that's what the heart and the soul of the show is all about like the stars and the moon and the sky, they all came together 
and they brought us together to make a difference, and I'm so proud. I couldn't be more proud of this team. And, you know, you don't see Rick get emotional every day. He puts on um, a beautiful, beautiful show of strength and of, you know, um, charisma, and still inside, he's as good as they get. He is salt of the earth. He is a hero.